In 1965, the Vietnam War entered a new phase with the initiation of the Battle of Ia Drang. This marked the first significant encounter between regular American forces, represented by the 1st Cavalry Division, and the North Vietnamese Army, NVA. Nestled in the central highlands of South Vietnam, the Ia Drang Valley became the battleground for a clash that would foreshadow the complex and protracted nature of the conflict. The Ia Drang Valley held immense strategic importance due to its location near the border between South Vietnam and Cambodia. The North Vietnamese sought to control this vital corridor, while the Americans aimed to disrupt their supply routes. The battle unfolded in two main phases, Landing Zone X-Ray and Landing Zone Albany, each presenting unique challenges for both sides. The American forces, under the command of Lt. Col. Hal Moore, utilized a novel approach to warfare known as air mobility. The 1st Cavalry Division employed helicopters for rapid deployment, allowing them to respond swiftly to changing battlefield conditions. This marked a departure from conventional tactics and showcased the evolving nature of warfare in the Vietnam era. The Battle of Ia Drang was characterized by intense close-quarters combat. American forces found themselves engaged in fierce firefights with the well-entrenched North Vietnamese soldiers. The dense jungle terrain added an additional layer of complexity, heightening the challenges faced by both sides. Lt. Col. Hal Moore's leadership played a crucial role in the outcome of the battle. His strategic decisions, tactical acumen, and ability to adapt to the evolving situation on the ground became key factors in the American forces' resilience against the determined North Vietnamese opposition. The North Vietnamese, led by General Nguyen Huynh, exhibited remarkable resilience and adaptability. Despite facing superior American firepower and air support, they demonstrated a deep understanding of guerrilla warfare tactics, utilizing the jungle terrain to their advantage. The Battle of Ia Drang exacted a heavy toll on both sides. The human cost of war became painfully evident as casualties mounted. The battle underscored the harsh realities faced by soldiers on the front lines and the profound impact on the lives of those involved. As the battle raged on, the importance of medical evacuation, medevac, became increasingly critical. Helicopters were not only used for troop transport but also for evacuating the wounded. The efficiency of these operations played a vital role in the survival and treatment of injured personnel. The Battle of Ia Drang left an enduring legacy on both the American and North Vietnamese military strategies. It served as a precursor to the protracted and unconventional warfare that defined the Vietnam War. The lessons learned in Ia Drang influenced future military tactics and the understanding of asymmetric warfare. Today, the Battle of Ia Drang is commemorated as a pivotal moment in the Vietnam War. Memorials, documentaries, and veterans' accounts serve as reminders of the sacrifices made and the lessons learned in the Ia Drang Valley, a place forever etched in the annals of military history. Subscribe to my channel if you like these historical videos and click on the top left box for the story of Dac 2's Crucible, a turning point in Vietnam. Thanks for watching.